Hey guys, welcome back to The Bass Tutor. My name is Tyler Fry, and I'm The Bass Tutor. So if this is your first time to the channel, thank you for stopping by, and I hope you really enjoy what you see. And if so, make sure to go down below, leave me a thumbs up, and tell everybody about how much you like today's video. So with that being said, today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite techniques to use this time of year, and that is the pre-spawn time. So what's happening this time of year is in most parts of the country, we're going to start getting warmer water temperatures and we're going to start getting warmer days and longer days. And so what's going to happen is those bass are going to start getting ready to move up and begin spawning. And so the first thing they must do though is they have to start feeding up before they can do that. So they're going to start eating just about anything that comes in their way. One of my favorite ways to catch them this time of year is an Alabama rig. This thing, it's got five hooks on it, it's got five lures, and it looks like a school of bait fish. This one right here is the Yumbrella Flash Mob Junior by Yum. And I've just got a couple of Kitex and a couple of True Bass Swim Baits on here on some Picasso heads. And so the reason I have this, this is my clear water setup. So a lot of people won't throw an Alabama rig in clear water because they don't feel like they can trick them as much. I throw this thing in any type of water conditions out there. And the reason for it is it's just such a big profile and it puts off such a just a good look as it's coming through the water. And whenever you're throwing these little translucent swim baits like this and these shiny Kitex, it looks just like a school of bait coming through the water. And with all these little extra willow leaf blades on here, it's going to give you a lot more flash and attract those fish. And you can see down here on this one, I've even twi uh, added in a little screw lock blade to this one. That way, they're going to be able to key in on this flash, and they're going to see this back one back here. It's going to be like it's straggling behind almost. And they're going to see this one flash, and they're going to come up, and they're going to see the profile of this swim bait, and they're going to grab it. And a lot of the time, what I'll do this time of year as well, is I'll add just a tiny bit of chartreuse back here on this tail. I'll take a little bit of Spike It or JJ's Magic, and I'll just run just a little bit right there on the back. Unless it's really dirty water, then I will cover the whole tail. And so that's going to get you a few extra bites on this Alabama rig. But today's video is not to go into Alabama rig fishing completely. We're going to have a video coming up very soon all about that. But today I want to talk to you about what I throw my Alabama rigs on. I get asked all the time what rod I enjoy throwing this on. And that is the Zolo Power Bolt by ALX. This is a 711 rod. It's a moderate uh, fast action rod. So what that's going to do is it's going to bend more down the blank than a normal fast action or extra fast rod would. So this is actually their flipping stick. It's an extra heavy, or actually, sorry, it's an extra, extra heavy. And so what that's going to do is that's really going to be able to drive these big old hooks into the fish. And it's going to be able to keep them pinned up because it's got that moderate action. It's going to bend further down this rod. So when that fish is running and it's moving and it's fighting, that rod is going to bend right along with it. So that way we don't have to worry about that fish throwing all these big old Alabama rigs. And a lot of the time, whenever you catch a fish on the Alabama rig, the fish is going to flail around and it's going to get hung up into some of these other hooks. It can be bad. You know, they're going to get them into their side, into their belly and stuff. And that's not a great thing. But when you're in a tournament situation, if you're allowed to throw an Alabama rig in your tournament, a lot of the times that can help you keep this fish pinned up. So, what is an Alabama rig without a reel? When I'm looking for a reel for an Alabama rig, I need something that's going to be a larger profile, something that's going to hold a lot of line, and something that's going to have a lot of uh, torque to this big reel handle. And so for this, I like to throw the Lose BB1 or you can throw the BB1 Pro, whichever one you want. For me, I like the BB1. It's, a, it's about a mid-class reel, I'd say. It's like $150, $160. You can pick them up at Fish USA, no problem. But the thing about this reel is, I'm not worried about ruining this reel. You know, if I had a $200, $250 reel for something that I don't do a ton, then I'm not going to be as apt to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm worried about destroying my reel and the gears inside the reel, then I'm probably not going to pick it up as much. And for an Alabama rig, I don't need a super, super expensive reel and super expensive rod because it's just a simple cast out there. You know, you're working it along. You might pulse it a few times. 
but it's not something that I have to be working it with the rod. It's not something that I have to be just completely burning it. And so that brings me into what gear ratio I use. I use a five one-to-one -one reel. This is a really slow reel. It's a deep cranking reel for most people. But for these Alabama rigs, I like to use this little bit slower reel because during the pre-spawn times, I find myself a lot of the times getting excited. You know, we're, we've been cold all year, all winter time, and we get out there and we're excited, we're casting out there, and I'm looking like Kevin Van Dam burning this uh, Alabama rig and it's coming out of the water. A lot of the times that's not what we want. We need to be able to keep that lure in the strike zone. So I take this little bit slower reel and I'm just going to reel it along. And I'm able to speed it up if I need to. I can keep a good steady pace or I can slow it down if the fish are real lethargic. And this time of year what I like to do a lot of the time, a lot of the time I'll put a dummy rigs down here on these two bottom. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to bump this thing up against a lot of the cover and the big rocks. So I will reel this thing super, super slow, and it'll be down there just bouncing off the bottom. And that's when a lot of those fish will come and they'll attack that thing because it's almost like a crankbait or something, and these fish are dying. You know, so it's looking like a school of bait fish that's just really creeping along. It's bumping along the bottom, and it's a super easy meal for a super hungry fish. So I use this five-speed reel on the loose BB1, and then I'm going to throw fluorocarbon. I like to throw Seaguar and Vizex 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's my go to line for Alabama rig fishing. Unless I'm fishing around a lot of cover, if I'm fishing around some really thick stuff, I'm going to throw 50 to 65 pound Power Pro. And, you know, especially if you're in dirty water too, you can get away with that Power Pro. The problem with braid a lot of the times is sometimes if you're casting out there and then you backlash, a lot of the times your Alabama rig is just going to keep going because that braid's not meant to be moving out and then just stop all of a sudden. So what it'll do is it'll just break. So you gotta kinda take that into consideration. You gotta be very careful if you're not used to casting with braid a lot. But that's why I like to use fluorocarbon as well because I get the super strength of that Seaguar and Vizex and then I get the clear aspect of it. So if I'm fishing in deep clear water, the fish aren't gonna be able to see it as much. So guys, this is a super, super phenomenal setup right here. and it's done me very well. It's caught a lot of fish and it's just a super phenomenal technique to throw this time of year. So if you're able to, pick yourself up an ALX, go on to Fish USA, get all the components. I'll have them all linked down below and get out on the water and wet a line. We'll see you guys later.